Welcome back to another episode on the channel. I'm Dr. Nasser, PGY3 in telemedicine, soon to be hospitalized in the state of Florida. We're going to talk about essential weekly types of AI in medicine. There's going to be six types that we're going to discuss. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to break down all these six types of AIs every doctor should know. Now, whether you're tech savvy or just getting started, this guide will help you navigate this AI revolution in healthcare. To really hash this out and talk about the numbers, all the data here, I'm going to provide the link in the description. 87% of healthcare executives are already investing in AI. And this is basically today, not a future number. And some studies have shown that you can reduce diagnostic errors by up to 85% and reduce clinical documentation time by 30%. Really, the question isn't whether AI is going to impact your practice. It's how prepared are you to use it effectively? Because while your colleagues are already gaining these advantages, the gap between early adopters and the, everyone else is really growing every day. So this is why this video is going to be very important. We're going to make sure that you're not left behind. On this slide, we're going to talk about what we're covering today. These are the six types of AIs that we're going to talk about. We have machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, clinical decision support systems, generative AI, and predictive analytics, which we have a full video on, but this is just an overview. So let's take a deep dive on the first one up, machine learning. I want you to really become familiar with these terms. And if you need to rewatch this video, go ahead and do that because whenever you hear these, you should be able to link certain things in your brain related to the kind of AI. When you look up the description of the AI tool, you want to look for these terms and you want to have some ideas about what it actually does. Think of machine learning as a pattern recognizer. These are algorithms learned from massive amounts of historical patient data to identify the patterns and even experienced doctors might miss. So in practice, this means that these tools like Path AI, for example, analyze pathology slides faster and more accurately than traditional methods. Phenome can detect cancer biomarkers in blood samples for early detection. And Concert AI, it's basically it supports the oncology data analysis for precision medicine, which basically help you tailor that specific treatment to an individual. And the clinical impact is huge. We are showing that 85% improvement in diagnostic accuracy and 30 to 50% reduction in time in diagnosis. But remember, again, this is not going to replace your clinical judgment. It's going to augment it. It's going to supercharge it with these insights that it can get from millions of cases. The next one up is deep learning. I'm sure you've heard these words. Deep learning really takes it a step further, especially in medical imaging. Basically, these are multi-layered neural networks that can analyze very complex images like x-rays, MRI, CT scans, with a very incredible precision. These subtle, basically, things that humans may miss, and rightly called subtle medical or subtle MR, basically enhances image quality, making diagnosis way clearer and more confident. A butterfly network IQ Plus provides real-time ultrasound analysis with AI guidance. Just think about an expert radiologist looking over your shoulder with every scan. Google's AlphaFold is revolutionizing the drug discovery by predicting those protein structures they need. So here's what's really remarkable. These th systems can detect early stage cancer that human eyes may miss about 20% of the time. It's like having a radiologist or an expert radiologist who've never really gets tired and has seen millions of cases in the past. So the key is starting with tools that integrate with your existing imaging system for that seamless workflow. The next one, which you may have heard of, is natural language processing, or NLP. This can immediately impact your daily workflow. This type of AI really understands and generates human language, specifically medical language. For example, Nuance, DAX, or Dragon Ambient Experience, is probably the most popular tool among these ones. It basically transcribes and summarizes your patient's conversations automatically. We have a Storyline AI, which creates a personalized care plan and patient summaries. And these tools are giving you back 30% of your time, reducing your documentation time by hours every day. The first part really is that voice tra transcription tools now integrate very easily and can give you an immediate return on the investment. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the CDSS or Clinical Decision Support Systems. These are AIs that can be your clinical partner. They're able to analyze a patient data, cross-reference with latest research, provide evidence-based recommendations. IBM Watson Health, for example, now called Emirative, 
offers a very comprehensive analytics for diagnosis and treatment. UpToDate has a AI-powered search now that can give evidence-based recommendations and they can reduce diagnostic errors by about 40% and improve your adherence to clinical guidelines. They can provide alerts for drug interactions, guideline-based treatment suggestions, a risk of stratification, and really CDSS enhances that clinical judgment, but it doesn't really replace it. Remember that it's always important to validate the recommendations with your own expertise and training. Now, generative AI, you've heard of the term pretty commonly as well. It's basically a content creation powerhouse. We all been using ChatGPT, for example. I use ChatGPT in my daily life, and that's the type of generative technology. In terms of us doctors, for example, you can create clinical notes, you can create patient instructions, educational materials, and uh, these are all of these new contents are created based on patterns learned from vast amounts of data. OpenAI, for example, can generate clinical notes, summarize with the medical context, Microsoft Copilot for healthcare that drafts documentation within the office suit. We have Storyline AI, which creates personalized patient communication and uh, care plans. And this type of technology is reducing content creation times from hours to minutes. But always remember that you have to be very cautious with these tools, especially the tools that have generative AI, because they may not be accurate. So they could be a good starting point, but you have to read everything they generate to make sure they don't um, step out of the boundary. Uh, so I recommend starting with like patient education materials, which are low risk and high impact and really easy to uh, verify. And predictive analytics, too much here. We have a video on predictive analytics that's pretty long. But basically, it's very important. We're moving from that reactive medicine to proactive medicine. These systems really analyze current patient data, identify the risk patterns, and help forecast future outcomes. And these are some companies that are using this. For example, Biomorph, they use that in drug discovery. We have the Baylor Scott & White, which identifies patients at risk for adverse events, and Rush University Medical Center using AI to predict patient deterioration for early intervention. And so we've covered these six types of AI that are transforming medicine right now. We talked about the machine learning for pattern recognition. We did deep learning for advanced imaging, the NLP or natural language processing for smart documentation, clinical decision support systems for evidence-based recommendations, and the generative AI for content creation, as well as the predictive analytics. Overall, these tools are, have impacted medicine in many ways. 85% fewer diagnostic errors, 30% time saving, 25% reduced readmissions, and $2.1 million in annual savings. It moves rapidly, so we need to make sure that you're continuously learning as a new AI tools come in. Make sure to be a part of the conversation. If you stay till the end of this video, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. If you can comment or subscribe to the channel, always remember that you need to start the journey somewhere. AI is going to change our field of medicine. It's not going to replace us doctors. It's going to make us better. We can continue to learn. We can continue to participate in the conversation. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, any suggestions, go ahead and put it in the comments. I have the links to all of the studies and percentages that I mentioned here. And I'll see you on the next episode.